Today I'm creating a whole new tag with a little bit of a twist, so let's do this. Hi everybody, it's Lydia here. First off, I know new filming position, what is going on? It looks a bit bare at the moment, I know, but it's gonna get more interesting in the next few weeks, I promise. Anyway, today I'm creating a whole new tag called the My Perfect YA tag. Actually, technically it's the hashtag My Perfect YA tag, but I'll explain that in a minute. Basically, the idea behind this tag is to talk about what would make up your perfect YA book. And the idea for this really came to me because recently I've been doing a lot of reviews and I've been talking about things I really love in YA and things I really hate in YA. But it's just made me wonder what I would want out of my perfect YA book and equally what everyone else wants because I feel like a lot of the time when we review books we talk about things we love in them and things we hate in them but we don't actually sit down and say okay this is what would make up my perfect book so that's what we're going to do today so there are questions to this tag but I've called them suggestion questions because you don't really have to answer them they're really just guidelines more than actual rules and they're really just there to give you ideas things to talk about when you're describing what would make up your perfect why book that said there is one question you have to answer and that is pick a genre pick your favorite YA genre because the YA genre is huge and I feel like the difference between what you would want in realistic fiction way and what you would want in fantasy way is massive so I think it's important to just dial it down just to one genre so pick your favorite genre but that is it that is it entirely there are no other things you have to talk about just pick your favorite genre and discuss anyway enough of the talking I'm just gonna get on and do this thing so my perfect why book would be a fantasy shock horror I know did you really see that coming I love fantasy I love fantasy ever since I was a kid and I just love the escapism about it and the sheer diversity to the genre there are no rules in fantasy whereas in realistic fiction you have to make it realistic it has to adhere to you know the general realistic world stuff fantasy none of that you can make everything up and it's brilliant it means that every book you read could potentially be entirely different it's awesome I love it an interesting point that I have noticed about YA not just in fantasy but just across the YA genre in general is that quite a lot of books are actually written in first person until I actually got into YA I hadn't really read very many first person books at all the majority of non YA books seem to be written in third person and so as a result I definitely prefer that person I just find I can get into it a whole lot more. I don't mind first person now simply because I've read so many Y books and the majority of them are in first person so I feel like I've just got used to it but if I had to pick a person and seeing as this is my perfect way I would pick third person because with first person I kind of feel like unless a character is very dynamic and they're very well thought out and there's a lot of layers to them I find that in first person they can get really frustrating and annoying they just get very repetitive I've mentioned this book a lot but um, Gates of Thread and Stone by Laurie M. Lee Kay who is the lead character in that book I find her so frustrating and as a result because that book is written in first person I really feel like it infringes on my enjoyment of the book because she is spending so much time thinking about what is essentially the same things for the entire book and it just gets really dull really quickly I also really love third person because of the description I've mentioned it before I love me some description I love books that are just pages and pages of glorious rich description I love to be able to envisage a world vividly and clearly and ah oh, give me all the description any day I love it to bits sticking with the character thing a bit in my perfect YA book I would have a character that is dynamic which is strong-willed I like a character to know their own mind if a character's a bit wishy-washy again it just tends to annoy me quite a lot so characters I really love are people like Lila in A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab she is just extremely um, 
confident and she knows herself she has dreams and ideals that she is determined to achieve and she she doesn't waver there's no as i say there's no wishy-washy to her she is very clean cut and i love that about her equally i love paige from the bone season series i love her particularly because she has incredibly clear morals she knows what she believes is right and what she believes is wrong and it takes a lot to change her mind which maybe displays a bit of stubbornness but there's kind of something good about that i love that she has these strong beliefs and it takes a lot to change her mind i really love that about her so characters like those two they're what i would look for in a perfect way fantasy character they are just they're on they're they're brilliant i love them they are of course both ladies and that is actually one of the reasons why i love way because there are so many lead female characters in this genre and in particularly in the fantasy genre in general before i really got into why i read a lot of fantasy anyway and i felt like a lot of fantasy characters outside of YA were male like the majority of the big epic fantasies have males as their lead character and while that's great you know totally fine with there being guys leading fantasy books that's great but I want a bit of equality in there and there were so few female lead characters in the big epic fantasies and I really miss that. So the Y genre has just brought out all the female characters in fantasy and I love it, it's brilliant. I don't care if people say it's some kind of trope like strong female character, I don't care about that to be honest because there are so many old fantasies that have the strong male character why can't we have a few strong female characters i love it you just give me all the female characters i love them i just want more want more women in fantasy in general just you know it's great growing up on lord of the rings i love that book don't get me wrong but where are all the ladies come on talking i also briefly just want to touch on love interests and love triangles and you can probably guess what i'm going to say about this but i'm just going to say it anyway um, I feel like there should be less love interests and definitely less love triangles in YA fantasy because there are so few YA books, just in not even just fantasy, just YA in general, that don't have love interests in. And I just, not everything is about love, please. Just, I, just, uh. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the time they just get in the way of the characters and they overwhelm them. Um, I'm fed up of reading why books where you have two characters who start to fall in love and they just completely change. They just completely change and not for the better. Again, I'm going to mention the Bone Season. I'm talking about my perfect YA book. I'm going to mention the Bone Season at least once or twice because one of the reasons I'm loving that series is because there is a love interest in that but it doesn't take over the plot. It is a side story, it, that's all it is, you know, it's happening, it's part of life, these people are falling in love, you know, there are several love, love interests in fact, people are falling in love here and there, but it's just a, a little, you know, side story. The main plot isn't affected and I want to see more of that, like if we have to have love interests in YA, let's just make them side stories, let's just make them little little sub stories, little subplots, stop making the love interest and the love story the main focal plot of why fantasy. And I'm not even going to go into love triangles because nope, stop. So those are just a couple of the things that would make up my perfect YA book. There are a whole lot more but I would be here till next Christmas if I kept going and I don't want that, you don't want that. So I'm just going to wrap it up there. This is a tag, I am going to tag some people in a minute but if you're watching this you are tagged. I, I know people say that all the time you know when they create a video you know you're tagged if you're watching this. I'm being serious like if you're watching this I want to hear what would make up your perfect YA book that's why there's a hashtag in the title I want to hear about it so hashtag my perfect YA link me to your things in the comments below or on Twitter or just anywhere I want to know what would make up your perfect YA book so I'm gonna tag some people specifically but I do honestly want to hear what would make up your perfect YA book. So if you don't have a booktube channel or you don't have a blog, let me know in the comments below. Blue? 
below but if you do have a booktube channel or a blog then link me to them i want to see your videos and your blogs about this because aside from the fact that i do think it's actually really just interesting to hear about this kind of thing i also think it's really useful if you follow a reviewer and you have an idea of what is their like pinnacle idea of a book like their five star book their perfect wire book in this case then I do feel like you know the reviewer better. So go make your vlogs and your blogs and link them to me either in the comments below or on Twitter at thing like Lydia and hashtag my perfect way. I want to see and hear all the things. Please let me know. So everyone is tagged, but I am going to tag some people specifically. I'm going to tag Lucy at Cutie Lucy 4, Cammy at Little Book Addict, Julianne at Bookish Brits, Louise at Louise Christians. I really hope I've said your surname right. Lisa at City of YA Books, and Ellen at Paper Ink and Words. Go check them all out. I've linked them all in the description below and guys, good luck and make sure to link me back your videos and your blogs when you've done them. So that is it for me today. If you like this tag, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below and I will see you again soon. Bye.